The Carl Garat mortar, a unique, massive, 126-ton mortar. It was one of Germany's numerous wonder weapons that pushed the limits of engineering. In 1936, Germany began planning for a potential war with France, which meant having to deal with the Maginot Line, an incredible fortified trench and fortress system that spanned the majority of eastern France. One solution was to simply enlarge siege weapons, which is where the super heavy howitzer Karl Garat was born. Ultimately, the Germans decided it would be much easier to invade France simply by going around the Maginot Line, through the Ardennes and Belgium. However, the gun would still be built, with seven completed between 1940 and 1942. And despite being incredibly challenging to transport, they were used with mixed results in several battles, including the siege of the Brest Fortress, Sebastopol, and infamously against Polish resistance fighters in the Warsaw Uprising. The Karl Mortar weighed an incredible 126 tons, or just over four Sherman tanks. Despite this, it was self-propelled and had a top speed of 10 kilometers an hour, with a maximum range of 42 kilometers. However, propulsion was largely used for aiming. Generally, the mortar was transported by rail in a complex process requiring significant manpower. Overall, the biggest downfall of the gun was the immense manpower needed to disassemble, reassemble, protect, and service the gun. Even four modified Panzer IVs had to be used as support vehicles, each only able to carry four shells for the mortar, which go way up to 5,000 pounds. Two variants of the Karl mortar were made, one with a 26-inch barrel and another with a 21-inch. The mortar had a max range of 4.3 kilometers to 10 kilometers, depending on the weight of the shell. Notoriously, the Karl mortar was used against the city of Warsaw in 1944. However, as many of the shells were designed to be used against hard fortified targets, such as bunkers, many didn't explode on Warsaw's soft ground. Ironically, it was reported that sappers even salvaged explosives from the shells to be used against the Germans. Ultimately, the Karl mortar contributed to the war more psychologically than tactically. It simply required far too many resources and manpower to be tactically more useful than conventional artillery.